This is Coogan Cassius for the Cassius and Hilda Show here on Box Nation. We're at the serious boxing gym here somewhere in Essex. With me, set to make his professional debut on uh, April the 2nd, Sanjeev Singh Shahosa. How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well. Very well. Um, yeah, spoke to you uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, you've got a highly anticipated debut coming up. How are you feeling ahead of it? I feel great, Coogan. Um, been training really well. Camp's been going great. Diet's been going great. I'm ready to rumble. For people that don't know, tell us a little bit about your background uh, in the fight game ahead of your pro debut uh, on the April the 2nd. Well, I was born here in London, in Emerson Park. Grew up in Emerson Park. Then I moved to Spain. I was in Spain for a little while. And now I'm back in the UK to do my professional career for boxing. Seems to be a little bit of an influx of... Uh, Asian and Indian boxers coming onto the scene now and you're, you're the latest one after obviously we know about Virginia Singh right. um, but now we've got uh, Sanjeev. That's right, I'm, I'm, I come from a Sikh background, my mum and dad are Punjabi, um, it's going to be good. So um, mum and dad come from, uh, were born, originally born in India, moved here at a young age and now I'm here mate, ready to do my professional debut. So you're going to be making your debut at a junior welterweight, so um, you feel comfortable at that weight? I feel great. I think I can either get lighter, who knows. But just for this fight, 2nd of April, I'll be doing a junior welter. And um, I feel strong, really strong. I feel good. A lot of people, obviously, like Dominic Negus and Francis, have been raving about you, and it's quite adds to the excitement of you know looking forward to your debut. I'm, I'm ready to go now. If it was tomorrow, tomorrow, you just give me a date in the ring, I'm ready to go. Um, have you discussed any sort of opponent come April the 2nd or is that still being worked on? Um, two arms, two legs. I'll leave it to Dominic. Um, I'm, I'll just focus on my game. I think at the end of the day you fight yourself. And I'm, as long as I get stick to the game plan and I'm focusing on the Dom's pushing me so, so hard, I'm, I'm ready to fight anyone. But. So you spend part of your time obviously doing your training here with Dominic, but you also spend part of your time out in Spain uh, doing... Uh, another part of your training now. Yeah, that's right. One of the things we benefit in Spain is obviously the climate. So we're doing some camps in Spain, in the UK, just always mixing, matching up with the camps. So it's um, been good. What's going to make you stand out from the rest? Obviously, it's a tough division you're starting out in. What's going to make you start, uh, you know, give you the edge over everyone else? It's, I'm going to be um, I'm gonna go in there with a low head, but 2nd of April, I'm going to be explosive. Come down and watch it. London Arrow. That's all I can say for now. <laughs> um, obviously, you know, there's some uh, big fights potentially in the future. Obviously, you are just starting off, so you haven't even had your pro debut yet. But what's the, what's the sort of targets uh, for the rest of the year? I think my target at the moment is all 2nd of April. But hopefully, I'm going to work my way up the ladders. Um, try to walk before I run, but I will work my way up the ladders to the top. How would you compare your style to anyone? Anyone you used to watch back in the day? Um, I always just like Ricky Atten. I still like him. Obviously, he's, he's retired now. So, personally, stay my style. I like to look at Canelo and Cotto. That's my boxing upcoming forward strong fighter. Have you got a fan base like Ricky Atten? I will, though, hopefully one day. Hopefully one day I'll reach the fan base. And I think Ricky Atten's a great home fighter. Hopefully I'll build my way up the ladders for everything, just with the fans, with the boxing, everything. I'm just really looking forward to it all, my new journey. Absolutely. Obviously, Ricky Adams is sort of one of a kind. We never sort of have seen that sort of fan base where like 20, 30,000 people travel to Las Vegas to, to watch him fight. So there's aspirations and goals there for you? I, of course. Hopefully, I'll get um, a big fan base. I think if, you, if you're good in the ring, you're a gentleman outside the ring, I think you should get your fan base. Uh, the way I want to see myself is a, a fighter in the ring, a gentleman outside, and just be, I don't want to be speaking about it. And if you ask, I want to do the fighting. If I can walk in that ring and just do the fighting and go, I'll do it every day. Ideally, how many fights would you like to have this year? Well, it's sort of the, the first third of the year, sort of coming towards the end. So how many fights would you like to have before the end of 2016? I think I'm scheduled roughly to about five, five fights this year. So I think it will be between five to six fights by the end of the year. But it's all about April the 2nd at uh, Harrow Leisure Centre. My first thing is 2nd of April, Harrow Leisure Centre. Let's get that one out of the way and then we work our way up the ledge. Just walk before we run. Um, I've done the work in the gym. I've ticked every box I, I could have ticked in my training camp. 
with food, diet, everything. I feel strong now, I've just got to prove it to myself and to everyone who's going to come support me, second of April, and to all the people who've been backing me, my family, Dom. I've, I've got, one of the great things I've got is got a great support, a great team behind me. I've got France as well, he's, he's, he's promoting me brilliant. I think that's it. I've got, nothing can go really wrong. It all depends on me now. Second of April is my night, and I will perform on the night. How has your working relationship been with Dominic Negus? Obviously, he's been in the fight game a long, long time and has got a wealth of experience. And how are you getting any work done in the gym with Dominic Negus? I don't know because he's always messing about. <laughs> We've got to be careful with the governor. No. <laughs> he's been great, to honest. Say. He's pushed me through the lows and highs. Um, We've been doing so many different things. Like, as you know, the programme is, is a lot different compared to the amateurs. It's a new, it's a new, it's a different level. And he's just walking me through it bit by bit, day by day. And I can't be more grateful for everything I've got around me. All the team I've got around me, I've got a great team behind me. Um, I've got um, Ben as well, who's helping me with the sparring a lot. So I've got Lenny Butch as well from Five Star, like who's trained Dominic, so it can't get any better. All right, well, listen, St. Jean will uh, anticipate your debut, like I said, on April the 2nd, and uh, let's hope uh, you deliver what you promise. Hopefully, I will. Well, as long as I've done all the work and ticked all the, I'm just listening to what Dom's been telling me. I've ticked all the boxes in the gym, at the gym, everywhere. I've ticked every boxes now. 2nd of April's my debut. Make sure you're there. And yeah, it's been good. So follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Sanjeev Singh Sota. Thank you, Kugan, for doing this interview as well. No problem. Sanjeev, thanks for talking to the Cassis and Elder Show, and uh, we'll catch up with you ahead of April the 2nd. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks to Box Nation.